relationship advice. Update. My fiancé and I agreed to have an open relationship a year ago, but I want to close it because I suspect he is secretly forming an emotional relationship with one woman he's been physical with. Original post. My fiancé and I agreed to open our relationship last year. He's 30 and I'm 28. We agreed the rules would be that we could sleep with others, but we would only have an emotional relationship with each other. We are due to marry this summer. I have decided that I no longer wish to continue and want to close the relationship because I feel that it's affecting our relationship. I'm still determining how to do this. I have had purely physical relationships with four men and that was it. Nothing more. He was having intercourse with around four or five women, but there was nothing more to it. I have now discovered that he has been sleeping with just one woman for at least three months. After some snooping over a day or two, I have found evidence that he is meeting her for evenings out and lunch. He whatsapps her daily. He is emotionally involved. I'm still unsure to what extent, but I'm furious because I have now found that he is taking her on a work trip with him. He never said that he was not traveling alone. I have to put a stop to this before it happens. I want him to end it with her. I've had enough. How do I confront him? He's violated what we agreed on and we must stop. I don't want to marry him knowing he's emotionally attached to another woman. We promised each other that we would put each other first. Now for the top advice before reading the update. What a disaster. It's over Johnny. Start over again clean with someone new, never make the same mistake again. The relationship is over. There's no closing it or acting like it never happened. Go forward with marriage at your own peril. If he cuts her out now, we could move past it together. I will confront him when I see him tonight. Nope. You're trying to control something that is already way out of your control. You shouldn't be marrying anyone and you shouldn't be with this guy. Break it off, learn from your mistakes, and don't get married until you're ready to be with one person for the rest of your life. Realize that bringing other partners in doesn't solve the issues that you need to solve. Well. It's too late now. Your relationship is toast. Well played. It certainly feels like that. But I will only know for sure when he and I meet this evening. You wanted an open relationship where you got to swap cooks on the regular. And you are upset he is working his magic? Damn. I am not upset at him for having physical relationships. I'm upset that he formed an emotional relationship, which we clearly agreed wouldn't happen. You know how ridiculous you sound right now? You are on the cook merry-go-round, and you are upset about his game? What game? We agreed we would only have physical relationships. He violated what we agreed on. How is that okay? I didn't have an emotional relationship with other men and didn't violate his trust. You don't get it. He must have been hurt when you proposed to have some F buddies. And now for the update. The problems in my relationship with my fiancé and a threat on Friday, a day or so after discovering my fiancé's emotional affair with a woman he initially had a physical relationship with. We have had an open relationship since last year, although initially we were exclusive. He went to her place on Friday after work, and said he'll return on Saturday. However, he informed me on Saturday that he'll return on Sunday. I asked him why, and he said that this woman was ill and had a migraine coming on, so he wanted to ensure that she was fine before he left her place. I told him that I knew he was BSing and making excuses, as she doesn't need him to hang around with her to recover from a migraine. He said he was not lying, and that she was truly unwell. He promised to return by Sunday afternoon, which he did. I told him soon after that I knew what he was up to. I knew all that was going on and the extent of his romantic relationship with her, which we both agreed was off limits. We were only allowed to have actual partners and no emotional relationships with others. He was somewhat surprised that I knew the details about his trips and evenings out with her, and I admitted to him that I had in fact looked at his email and WhatsApp messages. He was furious and refused to talk further, but then I told him I knew he was hiding something and I needed to know what he was up to. He calmed down and then came up to me and told me that he had been thinking about us and had come to the conclusion that he did not want to marry me. I asked him if he was calling off the engagement. He said he was done with the relationship altogether. After arguing over this, and his cheating, he admitted that his decision was linked to his relationship with this woman. He said that he was indeed in love with her now and accepted that he had cut out all other partners because he was emotionally involved with her. He even went to the extent of saying that he felt very loved when with her that it meant the world to him that he was the only man in her life, and she was fully and completely focused on him. He added that he wanted to be able to reciprocate and had therefore decided that he was going to do just that and commit to her. 
I said I wanted to close the relationship and be only with him and that I had realized that the open relationship was not working for us. He said no, because he felt unable to end his relationship with her, and that he simply did not care to try with me anymore as everything had changed far too much. I reminded him that he agreed to open the relationship and was sleeping with several women. Now he was blaming me for what was mutually agreed. He said he wasn't blaming anyone, and that he thought it would work out fine, but after a while it all started feeling empty and he felt pathetic sleeping around with others. He said it felt meaningless and that he felt like crap. He said he didn't want a life like that and he wanted and preferred complete commitment. He did not apologize for his decision and emotionally cheating behind my back. I told him that he was ending years of commitment and an engagement for a three-month fling, and he snapped that it wasn't a fling. I couldn't believe he was speaking this way, very cold and indifferent towards me. He didn't outright say it, but he is seriously considering moving in with her. After only three months. I feel devastated but the way he spoke to me has left me feeling empty. I don't know whether to wait for him to wake up and see that he's rushing this relationship with her and abruptly walking out on our life and home together, or to let him go and see if he ever comes back to me. I know that pushing him will serve little purpose, as he is determined to stay with her for now. What do I even do? I feel too shocked and confused to react to anything, and spent the entire night awake, trying to work out what happens now. We were due to marry later this year. I can't even bear to think about cancelling what we've planned for our future, and telling people that it's off. I have so much on my mind and I am struggling to cope. Edited to add, should I be telling the other woman that he was engaged? I'm not sure if she is aware of it. Now for some comments. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. It meant the world to him that he was the only man in her life and she was fully and completely focused on him. That is completely understandable. I wish him luck. Ooh opened the relationship, and he closed it. You were just on the other side of the door when he slammed it in your face. How does it make you feel to think about him taking this woman out for a romantic candlelit meal, full of sweet tender moments? Does it make you feel sick to your stomach? heartbroken? Because when you implied he's not enough for you by asking to sleep with other guys, that's how he felt. From a purely rational perspective he was better off finding someone and staying with you by saying yes because you also implied there was someone in mind you wanted to sleep with, which I haven't seen you say in either thread. No, it's not the most ethical way, but that's the best way for him and you made it clear an open relationship is what was best for you because you'd done it before, so he felt like that was the correct thing to do. You also never were there emotionally for him despite you saying no emotional attachments allowed outside of your relationship, so he found someone else who, in his own words, had him as the only man in his life. You can't do anything to get him back, and you shouldn't. Because your selfishness and neglect led to this and he, while not blameless, is much less at fault than you hear. Let him leave and be happy, and don't try contacting the other woman, because she definitely is closer to him than you are now. Yeah. Agree with all this and OP continues to try and justify herself by saying, but then he shouldn't have agreed. I would never have messed around if he had said no etc etc. I roll. Good for him. He dodged a bullet. Dodged a nuke. I think maybe you aren't hearing what he is saying. The relationship was opened up, when it wasn't working out his self-worth deteriorated and that wasn't communicated. Sounds like it really hurt him, I'm not sure it sounds like you have the choice to close the relationship anymore. Considering how dense OP is, I can't help but also look at today's date, April 1st. I hope this is a work in the end, because if it's not then it's creepy knowing someone like this is out there. Thank you for belittling my problems because you don't agree with how I've carried out my relationship. Now for the next story. I, 20 female, pushed my, 19 male, boyfriend into an open relationship, and now I'm afraid he's gonna leave me. So basically the title says it all. I've been dating my boyfriend for almost 3 years now, we started dating in high school. Our intimate life was really amazing but recently it had begun to lose its spark. My best friend at the time told me that the only way to fix the relationship is by opening it up. So I sat down with my boyfriend and explained what an open relationship was. I was really excited because it was a new experience. My boyfriend obviously wasn't really big on the whole idea. Literally a week of convincing and explaining the pros and cons to him he finally agreed. It did seem like he didn't want to as he said it will permanently change our relationship. So we opened the relationship and it's been a few months, and I have been sleeping with one of my co-workers, no feelings or anything like that involved, and it has been fun but I missed sleeping with my boyfriend, 
and honestly wanted to end the open relationship and go back to monogamy. However now I found out that my boyfriend is first off, sleeping with way more people than I am. And the biggest slap in the face is a lot of these girls are from the same high school we went to. And the biggest slap of them all is that, my boyfriend is now in love with open relationship concept and I really want to back to monogamy. I don't know, I also feel really betrayed that he would sleep with people we went to high school with and girls that he told me not to worry about. Now for the top advice. Well, that backfired on you didn't it? I realize that, but I want to go back to monogamy but feel like my boyfriend is loving this new opening up relationship. Take it from someone who done messed up once, and never will again. It doesn't work, a majority of the time. As I like to say, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I like the saying at the end. It completely fits my life right now. You were not betrayed. You asked for this, you literally pressured him into it. And now you're salty that it's actually working out for him. You've opened Pandora's box and while you can try to ask for the relationship to be closed up again, it's unlikely he will agree to this because he's happy with the way things are now. You may be stuck with laying in the bed you made or the relationship will collapse. Your friend gave you incredibly bad advice, there are plenty of ways to spice up a relationship and they told you to take the nuclear option that destroys many relationships that can handle it. Unfortunately, I would have to agree. As much as I hate to admit this, I did end up taking the biggest option when we should have just started small and work our way up to the open relationship, isn't of starting off with it like I did. Should have laid down more grown rules at the beginning. Can't put the genie back in the bottle now, might as well just end it. And for the record, open relationships aren't the only method to cure boredom in the bedroom. Do you think he's just gonna leave me now? I mean everything has been good and the same despite how I'm feeling. If you tell him you don't want an open relationship anymore, he likely will. He will end the open relationship? Nah, he likes getting laid and also having you at home, you done messed up. Now for the last story. Me, 29 female, with my boyfriend, 31 male, of 2 years not happy with our open relationship and his new girlfriend, 24 female. I'll try and keep this short. After dating for a year and a half I had the tough talk of proposing an open relationship to my boyfriend. I was the one who suggested it, not because I wasn't satisfied with him, but because I felt like I missed the thrill of flirting in new relationships, and knew I couldn't recreate that with him. We agreed on a few ground rules. We could both have one extra playmate at a time, FWBs only, no one night stands they couldn't be anyone already in our lives. We couldn't see them more than once a week without the other's permission. No bringing them home without the other's permission. For a while it was great, I felt like I got to scratch the itch I needed, and frankly didn't sleep with that many people. Really just went on dates and made out, maybe hooking up if I felt a connection. But then he started seeing Christine. He was very open about meeting her and going out and followed all of our rules pretty much to the word. But he hasn't stopped seeing her. I tried to move on from someone after a couple weeks to avoid getting attached, but he's been seeing Christine for 4 months now. Two weeks ago, he mentioned that she wanted to have a threesome with us, so I agreed to get coffee with her, without him present, to see if I felt a connection too. It honestly made me really angry to meet her. I left the date early and told my boyfriend no. When I floated the idea of having a threesome with my FWB and him, he flat out said no, and wouldn't even agree to meet him even though I met his. I don't even care about the open relationship anymore. Is there any way to close things up again and move on from this? Some general words of advice. Treat others how you would like to be treated. You can't eat your cake then have it, too. And, for the very vast majority of people, open relationships are a terrible idea. You selfishly ask for an open relationship, hint, it's selfish because it was all about you scratching your itch, not exploring something with your partner. When your boyfriend follows the rules you set, you selfishly decide you want to close it because of your jealousy. This makes me think you aren't emotionally capable of having either a healthy open relationship, or a healthy closed one. Yeah. This post is an almost perfect stereotype of how open relationships often progress. For the average guy, the hardest part about opening a relationship is his partner physically having intimacy with other men. For the average woman, the hardest part of the open relationships is dealing with the emotional connection that her man makes with other women. The beginning of the open relationship. When both partners start to hook up with other people, is usually much harder for the man. This is when he has to do the majority of his emotional work. 
The woman often finds this part comparatively easy and is very high on the non-monogamous lifestyle at this time. The woman usually first starts to deal with difficult feelings when her man begins to really bond with another partner. This is usually the time when she needs to do her challenging emotional work. Often, the woman will demand to close the relationship at this time instead of dealing with the emotions that her partner has already had to deal with. It's also common at this point for the woman to use vetoes, new restrictive rules, and other manipulations to try to try and keep the open relationship effectively one-sided. You can't suggest an open relationship and then be mad when he has an open relationship. The very reason you are mad is why this is a bad idea in the first place. For some, feelings get caught and not everyone wants casual intercourse with strangers. Otherwise, why be in a relationship in the first place? I'm not sure if they've got feelings for each other. I didn't get that vibe. Just out of curiosity, why did meeting her make you really angry? Was it something about her or just the fact that you were going out of your way when he wouldn't? Honestly she's not the type of girl I thought my boyfriend was into at all. I'm taller and a little on the big side, not fat mind you, just built. I do a lot of hiking and climbing, and this girl is super tiny, no muscle, push up bra, etc typical cute girl. I know that makes me sound really jealous about her looks but it's not that I think she's prettier than I am. It's just the idea that the girl he picked to be his FWB is not what I expected at all. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.